called, and I quote, a painful process. Um, I will get to that question with you in a moment as to just what you think needs to happen in the stage to come for these candidates. But take a look at these numbers that are on our Super Bowl with me. Jonathan and our viewers can join us as well. That number that's just been released right now by the Cabinet Secretary, 88,929 scoring between an A and a C plus, essentially a C plus and above. Mm -hmm. That is a figure that's 15, about 15% of the total number of candidates that sat this year. Now compare this with the previous years, C plus and above. Mm -hmm. These are the numbers you were talking about yeah. uh, that spread. No, yeah. 165,766 um, in 2015, getting a C plus and above and thereby qualifying for university. And in 2014, the number was uh, slightly lower, but just as high, 149,717. Tell us again what you were saying about this spread and, and yeah. whether this makes sense. Um, the normal distribution, the way it is in statistics, is that between 5 and 10 percent will be super achievers in any arrangement. Uh -huh. Then you'll have another 5 to 10 percent mm -hmm. that will be below average. But then our abilities are usually not far from each other under the same circumstances. But what you will notice is this. Look at the growth of the parallel system in our higher education. It tells you that somebody would steal the exam, mm -hmm. somebody would fail to honestly work hard, mm -hmm. but then end up taking the same course uh -huh. as the son or daughter of a peace and farmer who put in their blood to qualify to join university. This is what is being, is likely going to be rectified if we maintain this if strategy. If we maintain this strategy. Because okay. the growth of our transition from secondary to higher education uh -huh. was higher than the growth of uh, the sector uh -huh. that needed to admit them. I see. Yeah. So um, if you take a look at these numbers once again, those who scored a straight A, these are the results for 2016, 141. And we had 4,645 getting an A minus, just breaking down those numbers further, and 10,975 getting a B plus. Um, obviously, these numbers are quite different from the previous years. Um, I, I hope we can get a comparison on our screens uh, from 2015 and 2014 as to this breakdown as well. But let me ask this rather simplistic question. So if in previous years, you know, we've been getting 160,000 people getting straight A's, yeah. and now we have, shouldn't we, and this is rather simplistic, mm -hmm. yeah. so let me put that out there. Shouldn't we then have more doctors, engineers, lawyers? You get what I mean? Like all of these uh -huh. 165,000 who <laughs> yeah. get straight A's, uh -huh. they're all absorbed into those high-end courses, yeah. actuarial uh -huh. science, you name it. Is there, is there that tally? I think that's what you were saying, how yeah. many of them get in yeah. there and can't hack the system. You cannot, because when you fraudulently get into a system, it is not 